give you a What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. It's your quirky brother, David B, coming at you. First of all, I want to start this whole video off with saying a happy, happy, happy birthday to two good friends of mine, to Shayna, happy birthday boo, and to a good friend, uh, Aaron Neeson, I love you, that's my Katrina, hope you have a happy birthday to each and every one of you, and um, oh, and Aaron, make sure you don't get trashed tonight, because you know you got to go to work, because you know you're good for calling in work after you drunk the night before, don't be trifling, you know, keep it cute, <laughs> I'm just joking with you, but no y'all, this episode, I want to talk about jobs in general and simply because of the whole video about the McDonald's beat down about the employee who beat down the two girls who attacked them with a was it lead pipe now, I'm gonna say just say this little thing please forgive me I'm just gonna say a little something my thing is this gets I I, I don't agree with the extent he went with it because you know it goes back to the whole saying of don't beat someone while they're down if they're defeated you know let it go it's over with but I know he his Ike Turner came out and he tried to lay them to rest, literally. And uh, I'm sorry to hear about the extent of their injuries. On the other hand, now I know some of y'all have watched that video, the random moment I made the other day, I think it was last, a few days ago, about girls thinking they above an ass whooping, popping off at the mouth thinking they're above just because they're females. Ladies, some of y'all, I warned you, I told you, it's not even a week yet, and I, this happened. Like, seriously? And for what? Because he was doing his job, he was uh, being courteous to y'all, and just simply following his rules and regulations? I don't get it. Oh, what? You, oh, you don't want to be bothered because homeboy? I mean, for, I can't find a reason why you would put your hands on him. Like, seriously, girl, just like, because you were, seriously, reached across the, had, oh, Lord, I'm getting my blood pressure up. Mm. I mean, y'all gonna have the audacity, nerve, and gall to reach your hand across the counter and slap him across the face because uh, you didn't want to be improperly inconvenienced because he was simply following the rules and regulations of the McDonald's Corporation about asking about the authenticity of a $50 bill? Well, guess what, y'all? Y'all was a motherfucking improperly inconvenienced, and that's why you got piped. I mean, you really think you gonna uh, jump across a counter and then uh, have no repercussions? What you think he was gonna do? Offer you a free Big, Big Mac? No! So I'm just gonna say this on the simple record. Ladies, men, gentlemen, everybody. Don't let your mouth write checks your ass can't cash. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> I mean, just... They got my blood pressure all high just thinking about it. They once again, talk about the whole bullying thing. Like, for what purpose? Thank you. Is that my... Thank you. I mean, excuse me, y'all. I need that. Oh, child. Thank you. I don't Mmm. Need some coffee. You got my... Oh, just got me riled up this morning. I mean, seriously. But anyway, y'all. I wanted to talk about, also, first jobs. Like, I know that, especially the way the economy is, each of us have to find, you know, jobs that we can bring, make in some kind of income, you know, just to survive. So, I'm interested to hear you guys, what were you guys' first jobs at? What was it doing? You know, what it involved? Was it drama filled? You know, were people cussing each other out? Was it professional? That kind of thing. Um, me personally, I've had like, what, six jobs? Five or six. Let me see. From the my first job, it was like in middle school. Yeah, middle school kind of. My my stepdad had started a satellite company, installation company. So it was my uncle and I, and so he would buy like the satellite dishes from a company, and then he would sell them, sell them to different people, and then we would go install them, like go up on the roofs and you know run the cable lines and all that stuff. It was pretty fun until the winter time came and my black ass was practically slipping off the roof, like hanging on the awnings. It's trying to, you know, not really, but I mean, it got bad sometimes, but that's where I made my first hundred dollars. And I was proud of that hundred too. Y'all, I was so proud. Like I even took every single bill that I had earned, I ironed it all nice and crisp. 
and neatly folded it up and like put it in a special place. Like I was proud. I was like, I was what? 12, 12, 13? I made a hundred dollars back then. That was that was good for me. You know, I was proud. So anyway, that was a good job. And so the next one, we started out uh what was it? It was like a okay. I would like to say, I'm not going to say which family member this was, because I'm going to keep it private, but I, one of my family members started a, I guess you could call it an escort call person, I don't know what kind of service you want to call it, but even when, anyway, I was like the receptionist, like the phone guy, anyway, the company was called Charlie's Angels, and it was spelled C-H-A-R-L-E-E, -E, Charlie's Angels, and I was Boz, short for Bosley, no infringement intended <laughs> but yeah so anyway we had like four girls four or five girls and so men will, and then we posted that ad in the paper so men will call like with it they had like their measurements and stuff in there and what they were looking for you know it was a sexual thing okay so they would call what they want to and you know I would tell them you know what we had I'm like you know we got Sheila you know she's a bohemian you know she's got 36 double D and size this 36 34 36 and all that stuff a funny thing I found out is I would make more money when people would call. Like if I sounded like if I sounded like a woman, I don't know. There's something about people feeling more comfortable and being turned on about talking to a woman or something. Don't judge me. Hell, I made some good ass money. I made like two hundred dollars in one week. So don't come after me. You know, I had my hustle on at the time. <laughs> so, I, like people would call me and hope like, "Hello, welcome to Charlie's Angels." You know? <laughs> Welcome to Charlie's Angels and all this stuff. So, you know, I made good money doing that, but until I realized it may have been illegal, we didn't stay doing that for so long, though. But, and then after that, I think I went to college, and then I came home for the summer, and then I worked at Hollister. I was like a team impact that was like involved working in the back and like refilling the, the floor with like merchandise and like when people would pull stuff, you have to restock it so it's like all sizes would be available. That was pretty cool until I had to realized that I had to come in at nine at night sometime and it worked to almost five o'clock in the morning redoing the entire floor, floor setting. I'm like, this is not the business. I can't do this for the rest of my life. So I did that for one summer. Then the next summer I did work at Walmart. I was a cashier. You meet some interesting people at Walmart. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So the next <laughs> the next job I had after that, what did I do after that? What was it? That one? And then for the next three years after that, I worked at the preschool I worked at up until this past August. So I did that. And I, I really love working with kids. Working with kids is pretty fun. You know, they, kids these days are the smartest little people I've ever met in my entire life. Like, I can seriously sit there and have a full out conversation with a three year old, and we actually know what you, each other is talking about. That's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. That's how we're going to end this video, but I want you to feel free to comment and tell me, guys, tell me some of your stories about your first jobs, bad experiences, that kind of thing. I really want to know because this whole McDonald's thing has got me feeling some kind of way. Like, I don't understand why people, I don't know if it's because, like I said, I don't know if it's because of the economy, like we ain't got, we ain't got nothing as a people, like as a nation, like, you know, income is down. I don't know if we frustrated, we pressed. I don't know what it is, but we need to do better, you know. So anyway, I'm your boy David B signing off, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.